Hi, welcome back. To get started using Virtual Drumline with Sibelius, uh, you'll first need to pick up a copy of the VDL template that corresponds with your version of Sibelius. Now, I'm using Sibelius 6, so I'll be using the 6.0b template from therightscore.com. I've unzipped the files here, and as you can see, there are seven items included. Uh, this will vary depending on which version of the template you're using. So in terms of documentation here, we've got the staff mapping diagrams, some MIDI keyboard input maps, and the README, which is a very thorough manual that basically covers every aspect of how to use the template and should answer most of your questions for the most part. Then we've got the sound set file, which is this VDL sound set 6.0b.xml file and that contains all of the sound IDs and instrument information that will t basically tell Sibelius where to find the various samples and VDL instrument files. Uh, we'll come back to this one in a second. And then there's the actual Sibelius notation file, the VDL template 6.0b.sib, uh, that contains all of the staff mappings for the VDL instruments. And then we've got a folder here that has a set of trigger test files that basically is something that you can use if you're wanting to uh, test and make sure that you've got everything configured properly. Now coming back to the sound set file, uh, you'll need to copy this to a specific folder on your computer um, and that location will really depend on whether you're uh, on a Mac or a PC and if you're on a PC uh, whether you're using XP, Vista, or Windows 7. So uh, you can either check the README that came with the template or the on-screen notes here about where you're supposed to copy the file. And I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna come here and select the file. Go up and say edit, copy the file. And I'm gonna come down here to my user directory and we'll start at library, application support. I'll scroll on down here to Sibelius software. Sibelius 6, and now you see there's a, a sounds folder here. Uh, if this is your first time installing a sound set, most likely that folder will not be there. So you'll actually need to create the sounds folder, then copy on into the directory here. And then as you can see, I've actually already got the 6.0b sound set here along with four others. I've kept all these sound sets here because if I have an older file that was created using say the 5.2 template, I'll actually need to use the 5.2 sound set with that file. Uh, so same thing, if I had a file written using the 6.0 template, I would need to use the 6.0 sound set. So uh, that's it for this video. And the next video, we'll be covering setting up a playback configuration. So we'll be getting one more step closer to writing some music.